Hey y'all, uh, today I'm going to be talking about uh, the uh, latest GNOME version, uh, which is GNOME 3.1 or 3.10, and uh, I have this installed on my machine, so it's not on the virtual box, and yes, I'm crazy. <laughs> uh, just to some, make some notes and some things that uh, have changed, and uh, some things I've added myself. Uh, the most noticeable thing is, uh, by default, these two are tied together now at the top, the volume and power. So if I just hit here, um, I have the microphone because I'm recording, and whatever's active, it'll come up. And then here's just the lock screen. And we notice here these have changed. That's system settings. I don't know if this, this will have a tooltip or not, but system settings, uh, lock screen again and the power button, power menu. Um, no logout option again. Oh, yes, there is. Logout there, I'm sorry. My mistake. So, system settings. Uh, displays. Um, this is kind of interesting. Uh, it shows you up here in the top left, uh, which is the primary. And if you go to the options of each one, you can set, say if I had the other monitor, which I use, uh, set that as primary. Or mirror, or um, so it would be like clone or join together to for extra workspace and uh, different variations of that. So I'll cancel. So that was different from before. Um, I think under power, yeah, uh, blank screen after never. Uh, that's good. Suspend. I don't use it in here, so it's that's off. And if you notice the, the, the top all settings, it has a drop down search that you can toggle on and off with your mouse, which I thought was neat. Um, some things are a little inconsistent, like uh, if you notice here, it only has a close box. However, if I open uh, Firefox, um, you have minimize and maximize buttons and the close. Uh, the reason that is uh, with uh, the tweak tool, which has also been updated, and the layout has changed. So you can have like a global dark scene for each window, and you know, your desktop if you want that on and off. The extensions, um, I installed Always Zoom, drop down terminal, and GNOME Shell open terminal, uh, which is kind of neat there because if I right click on the desktop, you can open a terminal uh, without having the desktop uh, handle the uh, files as it would here. Now, what was interesting though, if I go back to Nautilus, is still there's no new empty document, but this was in here, uh, open terminal. I didn't add that, I didn't download that was in there by default so far. And uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, I'm using Arch Linux. And uh, so, uh, so on. Um, basic stuff here. Um, input sources, power. Um, obviously, I'm not using a laptop, but it's good to have nothing as well, because again, I don't use it. Startup applications. Um, interesting. You can remove these if you want, which I probably will, uh, except for Dropbox. Uh, top bar. Uh, same idea as before is to show you know the date and the time and seconds. Typing, good to see this still here. Key sequence to kill X server. Control up backspace. Uh, Windows. This one here uh, threw me for a while. The here's what I was talking about. The title bar buttons minimize or minimize or and maximize. I, I put on. But as you can see in this instance, there's only a close button. Uh, workspaces, I haven't done anything in there. And yeah, so tweak tool, that's pretty neat. Um, same idea with this screen, except now you have these, uh, if you look on the right side, these dots. So if you click one of them, you can go back and forth between. I had, didn't, I haven't installed many of the GNOME extras. Uh, I did with weather seems to be working. 
But again, this has a dark theme, which seems a little weird, inconsistent. And the same thing with the clocks, roll clock, alarm, stopwatch. It started and has a neat little animation. Stop, reset, timer, which comes in handy if you're, you know, time limited for something. Um, in the time and date settings, uh, this keeps switching off on me. Automatic date and time requires it, so I turn that on. And then sometimes when I reboot, it reset sets back to off. And automatic time zone, which is good. Background, so far the same stuff. Although, I mean as far as backgrounds. Although, uh, you can change your uh, lock screen wallpaper. Okay, so that's it. I think uh, if you want to try this out, you can. Um, be careful though. Uh, make sure you have a backup of everything. Or make use Clonezilla if you can, uh, and uh, you can try this out. Or just throw it in a virtual box, which is uh, which seemed to work okay. Uh, but I wanted to try this on the main system just to get an idea, in it. and so far it's pretty good. Okay, so uh, thanks so much for watching, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Um, bye for now.